So we have Santa Clara coming up in a couple of weeks that you guys will be going to. Then we have Sonoma right after that. The end of the, sp of the fall season, we have Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is invite to play only. You're going to be playing games against teams that are much better than you that you will get down. That means that especially for you rookies, but also the vets, you guys have to show us that you're doing the work. You have to earn that spot. Look at the points he puts up, and he goes in the tight end slot? Wait, I'm 3-0, and oh, what's your record? Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Okay, that's what I thought. Are you focusing on ugly? I did watch the first one. Because I just watched the third game. Because I am the team. <laughs> who, else is, who else is the team? I'm the team. My name is Daniel Ortiz, but everyone calls me Tello. I am 22, and I've been playing. this is my fifth year playing Ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate is a self-officiated game, so there's no refs, there's no umpires, so all the disputes, like fouls, happen between the players, you talk it out. So I think it helped me with figuring out solutions to problems easier. Who is Ryan Polka? Who is Ryan Polka? Who is Ryan Polka? <laughs> he is a man who is much faster than he looks. <laughs> So yeah, my name is Ryan Polka. Uh, everyone on the team and through most of Ultimate Frisbee calls me Polka. I'm the coach of the men's Ultimate Frisbee team at UNR. So Ultimate Frisbee is a team sport. It's played with a Frisbee or a disc. We have a regulation size and weight and everything like that, just like with other sports. It's kind of a mix of every sport, which is what's kind of great about it, is it's really easy to teach people who have played football, soccer, or basketball because there's some element of all those on it. Uh, it's played on in typically an outdoor field, um, made that way so that if anywhere there's a football field you can play ultimate frisbee. So do you want to talk about um, last season, what happened? Last season was, it was starting off really great. We had a win against Stanford for like the first time. We lost two back-to-back uh, -back universe point. So universe point is like Basically, you're tied and whoever scores wins. Um, and so we had two games where we lost on Universe Point. If we had won either of those, we would have gone to regionals, but we did not. <laughs> uh, seeing my best friend cry because this is last season, that was probably the hardest for me. I cried with him. I couldn't breathe for like a solid five minutes and it's still, oh, it's still hard. Yeah. Playing the last game with Tello was, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> You broke him. <laughs> you got me. It was super fun. Uh, yeah, I just got to go like grind with my like one of my best buddies. Most of the people who broke down crying were a lot of the seniors who were graduating, and it was their last chance to see how far they could go. It was hard because I definitely questioned a lot of my choices. Um, could I have done something different? Could I have called a different line, done a different strategy? Um, could I have done something that made a difference? But I also recognize that in that moment when they were really down, um, it wasn't really a time that I could take to doubt myself because we had to go from that moment and move forward. Oh, God, I missed it. 
You will be low on the score. The team will be getting Ds on you. People will be making mistakes. And if you start yelling at each other, it multiplies those mistakes because then people get self-conscious, people don't trust each other, and the whole system breaks down. But when you guys trust each other, you help each other up, you keep a positive attitude, you will always do better in the game. Always. Hey, what up? My name's Polka. I'm 28 and I never fucking learned how to read. So the first tournament of the year is Santa Clara, which will be October 25th and 26th. Really, early season tournaments aren't about winning. Um, they're about rookies learning how to play. I'm dying. You're my last wish. Oh my god, dude. And then the final tournament of the semester, kind of the culmination of all the work, is Santa Cruz. It gets competitive. People start to realize, like, oh, this is what it's going to be like during the spring. And it kind of is a, a springboard into that, the actual season. Hey, let's hustle right. in! Hey, let's make space. Let's go! Circle up, jog it in, jog it in! Cool. Hey, listen up. So, we have the, we have tonight's practice, Qdoba Cup, and then we have to Monday and Wednesday, and then you guys are scrimmaging next week. So we're gonna try and get you guys as ready for that as possible. Um, my understanding is it's gonna be Sack and Chico. They'll both mostly probably be bringing out a lot of rookies, just like you guys. So it's gonna be a good learning experience for all of you. But we want to get you guys ready, and uh, we still want to win. So. Um, there's a thing called like spirit of the game, which to people who haven't heard of it before it can sound kind of lame sometimes. Um, but it's that idea of that like you should play the way that you'd want people to play against you, which is also like what I see as part of my job as a coach is like teaching people that element of it to be honest and to be able to communicate, to work things out between people because um, in other sports you don't have to. Spiking the disc is just you get it and you throw it onto the ground. Once you score. Once you score. Once you score. <laughs> <laughs> Christian. Christian. Spiker. Uh, he's a rookie and dude's gigantic. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's athletic. He's athletic. There's always an issue where guys will come in and they're either like not confident enough in their abilities um, and are timid. Um, or they can be too confident. Christian is not like that. No, he's, Surprising. He's, I love him. Uh, <laughs> he is, yeah, super athletic. Um, plays with, with fire, which I really like. Um, because you can't coach that. Let's go. Dog mode. You excited, Christian? Yes, sir. Really? Being up everyone today. What are some uh, thoughts going through your head right now? Play hard. Embrace it. This Live in the moment, man. Work as a team. About to catch some dubs today. That's it. Let's go. For new rookies coming this season, I would recommend school before Frisbee. Uh, if you fall in love with Frisbee like I did, don't put it in front of school. It goes family, school, then Frisbee. Yeah. Good, a group of three. Last one! So I study clinical mental health counseling. I'm in my third year of my master's program right now, which is the final year. I'll ideally graduate in May. So I do a lot of individual counseling. I also do a lot of couples counseling. So I do relationship work. In high school, I went through a pretty severe depression um, time, period in my life. And I never went and saw a counselor, never really talked to anyone about it except my friends. Um, I had pretty bad social anxiety myself, more of that like I just felt really awkward about myself and I didn't, I wasn't very good at socializing. I think if I was to boil it all down, I think it's that I wish somebody had been able to help me when I was going through a really hard time. So I wanted to learn how to help other people. I was born a twin and my twin died uh, early on. I didn't get to know him. It was like a few days after we were born, so it's not like we were like real close. But a lot of things that also drive me are the idea of like how would he have lived his life and would it have been better? Uh, would he have done more? And so that's also been like a core element of who I am is 
um, I got to live through some strange miracle of medicine and science, and he didn't. So, constantly comparing myself to someone who's dead. Um, so, I mean, that would probably be from the get-go. We would have to start there in order to understand what part of my motivation is. You guys can eat if you want to eat right now. I know you can't shoot. What is your first thing when Max told you he's playing Ultimate Frisbee in college? I didn't know what it was. <laughs> and I, I thought it was Frisbee golf, actually. But after I saw you guys playing, um, it was funner than I thought. The community is very open to any of anyone, no matter what color, race, anything you believe in. We welcome you in like family, we treat you like family. We believe if you just want to play ultimate frisbee, then you're good enough to, to be part of this family. I think a lot of other sports, they're like, kind of just shun you off for that, but I feel like our sport, we embrace it. And like I said, we don't shun anyone out of just for crying or just like certain things. We're like we believe, like I said, as long as you're into ultimate frisbee, you're gonna be part of this family. You're gonna cry, you're gonna get mad at each other. It's what happens when you're playing a sport. We're always gonna have each other's backs no matter what. Yeah, you're revealed. You're on camera, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't apologize, it's hilarious. Ball for the camera. <laughs> a lot of you guys said the energy was great at the tournament on Saturday, and it was not great on Sunday. You also said that it was like really hard to have energy when you guys got broken multiple times. That's going to happen. Doing something where you put a lot of passion into it and a lot of drive and really trying, and then to lose is hard. But being able to get up from that and to move forward is a really valuable lesson. I have, on a scale of one to five, I have a five sprain with three torn ligaments and three slight uh, fractures in my foot. <laughs> so yeah, I got no surgery though? No, uh, I go to MRI tomorrow to see if I need surgery, but it's looking, looking like no. If I need surgery, I'm out for six, six months. So. Oh, it's up for no surgery. Yeah. Did you get <laughs> yeah. I didn't just put in two months of hard work just to be out for one injury, so. The way I view Santa Cruz, kind of going back to what you're saying, is like I view it as taking the top lines and the people are looking promising to kind of get an idea of what what the top will look like at sectionals. Uh, Spiker. Yes. Right first. Yeah, yes. Rookie. Yeah, it is. Spiker. Yeah, I want to see him be placed on my team. Best camera out of the team. He's good. He's really good. Because he shut shut down Davis's number one hammer. Obviously, he's out, but I would like to like talk about Devin. I would have said yes for him because I think he has like a lot to give. I, I haven't seen him 
play D, but it sounds like he did really well. So yeah, I just, I just want to be able to like go talk to him and be like, you would have made it, obviously, if it wasn't for this unfortunate injury. I know, I know that's hard news for you. What are you doing? Uh, we're, I'm calling the guys over and talking about who's invited to cruise. And you brought a table for dramatic effect? It was already nice. here. No, I just grabbed it because I didn't want to be standing and I want to be able to look at my computer. I flipped the tire for dramatic effect. But we just wanted to let you know, like, you would have definitely been invited to play a cruise. Like, you're looking really good, and we hope that you stick with it. I think yeah. you're in the, the top 21 people on the team? I believe, I would believe so, yes. Confident? Yeah, yes, sir. All right. Well, we agree with you. Um, so you're invited to come play cruise. Uh, we think that you're playing really well. You're definitely, like, one of the top deep threats on the team. We see that you score a lot. Um, and, yeah, you seem like you're getting the offense down pretty well. Cutting pretty open, so yeah, we're looking forward to working with you. You'll probably be, if you keep it up, you'll be one of our top, top rookies and play in a lot of the important games at sectionals. So just, just keep working on it. All right, um, yeah. Rookies are vets, you know. I feel like I'm in the top bracket. I just work hard, and you know that's really what gets me to that caliber. Just putting in the work every single time I can. So, yeah. Hey, so that was a hard weekend. You guys took sixth, which is pretty awesome. This is what a lot of the spring tournaments are like. Those are really strong teams, and those are the teams that we aim to beat. I think overall, you guys did really well this week. Like, I really hope that you guys aren't focusing on the negative parts of this weekend, of like when you guys got broken or the games that you lost. I really hope that you guys are focusing on the positives of when you guys came together and when you played the system that you've learned and worked on, you guys ran through a lot of teams. Like there were time, there were points that the other team didn't even look close to you guys. And that's what this team is capable of. It showed that you guys are easily able to outrun and outmatch and outcut, outthrow other teams when you do it right, when you work together. We came all this way, right? Yeah! yeah. All it take five hours, right? Yeah! yeah. You want to game right now? Oh. What are we gonna do? Win! Win what? The, the game. game! What kind of game? The this game! game. Oh, okay, read on me, read on three, one, two, three! Read on! Whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah, whole team win it, yeah, whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah, whole team win it, yeah, whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah, whole team win it, yeah, whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah, I bring a truck right back. I bring the truffle right back, yeah, yeah. I bring the truffle right back. I bring the truffle right back, yeah, yeah. I bring the truffle right back. I bring the truffle right back, yeah, yeah. I bring the truffle right back. I bring the truffle right back. Hey, I put the wins on repeat. Hey, I got a rap on my knee. Uh, who is gonna mess with the squad? Hey, who is gonna mess with the team? I got dust in the collar. My might as well add them. This like a vacation, like Keller of Bass. You cross like a T and you next. That's in order. You dumb boy, you cooking. I'm placing my order on green. Whole team win it, yeah. Whole team win it, yeah. Whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah. Whole team win it, yeah. Whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah. Whole team win it, yeah. Whole team win it, whole team win it, yeah. I bring a truffle right back, I bring a truffle right back, yeah, yeah. I bring a truffle right back, I bring a truffle right back, yeah, yeah. I bring a truffle right back, I bring a truffle right back, yeah. I bring the truffle right back. I bring the truffle right back. Whole team winning.